Welcome to the Portable Clint Show, coming to you live from downtown Farmer's Market in the heart of Los Angeles. Shall we? Hello and welcome to the Portable Clint Show, coming to you live from Farmer's Market. This is live to me, but it won't be live to you. I have my very first guest, he's sitting right next to me. His name is Sandro, I say your name, last name? Yocalano. Yocalano. And he's a stand-up comedian, here he is. All right, we're, uh, we're at Farmer's Market, like I said, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be asking my good buddy here uh, some questions. He is a stand-up comedian, yes. right? Yes, I am. What do you, what can I ask that no one's ever asked you about stand-up before? Do you eat food before you go on stage? Okay, I, that's in that book, by the way. Is the it book, really? the, the, the Sebastian, what was his last name? Menace Galco. I don't, I don't know last names at all. You don't do last names? I, I don't do last names. So he yeah. says that he has learned the hard way not to eat food before going on stage because it makes you extra gassy and you can't really be that mobile. Is that true? I mean, I don't know if that's pretty specific. That means that he's trialed and errored a lot of those. So he knows what you know gives him gas and not. But not so much the gas for me. It's I feel like if I'm full, then I feel like I'm less likely to move around. I always think of uh, uh, the story of Ricky Tiki Tavi, who was the mongoose who uh, would never go out and he would never go out after he ate food because he'd be super sluggish. You have any current stories? Do you have any current stories? Yeah. Uh, so it's, instead of the the guy that you were referring to? Oh yeah, yeah, the guy, <laughs> the Israeli puppet from years and years ago. <laughs> Uh, I don't have any current stories. I mean, I just know that like I've done shows before where I had like I ate pretty much a half a pizza, and then I went on stage and I felt super sluggish. And I don't like to do anything that would take my mind off of being present. So if I'm on stage and I'm thinking, like if I wear a shirt that's too tight, unless I'm making fun of the shirt, all I do is feel the shirt against my stomach. Okay, okay. Uh, did you move out here to Los Angeles to be a stand-up comedian? Mm -hmm. I started in Florida. And Florida. Then, Florida. Flour. I started in flour, 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 duh. Which over there, if you don't cook with flour, they're like, duh, you know. <laughs> so I did that, and then I moved out to LA to continue stand up and try to do, you know, something else with it. But also, but just mainly stand up. Okay, where are you in your journey out here in Los Angeles? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in the two. I'm in the Tuesday of my journey, which basically it's there really is no journey. It's just kind of, you know. Um, I'm still in the beginning, I feel like. And how I feel, often? I feel like it's always the beginning. How often do you do stand-up every week? Every week? Or do I say, I say every week. Do you do it every, every week? Every week. I'm how on many stage, times a week? I'm on stage at least four or five times a week. The more, the better. I can stay sharp. I can, you know. Uh, really, it's like, for me, it's like, if you stay inside for a long time and you don't talk to people, yeah. you'll, know what, you'll know how to talk to people. But sometimes you might be a little rusty at it. You might be a little, you know, like... Like, if I'm not around a lot of people for yeah, a while, yeah. and I'm around them, I get a little anxiety. Okay, so, I can see that. But yeah, the more I'm around way. them, yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, conditioning yourself. Yeah. Um, when's your next stand-up gig? Uh, I have one tomorrow. I have two tomorrow. Where? One in Redondo Beach, and then one at the Comedy Store. Who goes to Redondo Tempo. Beach? Actually, no, I'm sorry, El Segundo, oh. even, which is Spanish for the second. So Is it really? Yeah. But okay. I'm there at this bar. Uh, at a bar? Bar show, yeah. Okay, Before, what's, what's the difference between a bar show and a stage show? So a bar show is typically a little a little rowdier. A stage show is people are there to see comedy. And a bar show is people are there to be at the bar and also maybe see comedy. So you have to kind of wrangle them in sometimes. Are, it can be a little more rowdy. Are there more hecklers at a bar show? Typically, yeah. Just more people that... Or people that just talk and just don't realize they're heckling and they're just being loud because they're at a bar. What's what's one of the best hecklers that that got you? That got me? Yeah. Um, like you're like, dang, that's a good one, dude. I don't really remember any that really got me because after whatever they say, I immediately I process what they say and then tune them out and then just shut them down. Okay. So but I remember like I don't remember anything specifically that anybody really like got me at. Um, do you get mad at them for doing that? Because I've seen comedians like uh, like Jerry Seinfeld guy, uh, Kramer. Yeah. 
Oh, like, he yeah. got mad. He got super. I was just talking about that with somebody else today, which is funny. Uh, okay, continuing, because my wife just called. But anyway, oh. that's that's what you get with the portable clint show. You get everything. You get everything. But at, like you were saying, go ahead. So, uh, I've never, like... I mean, I've gotten angry before with people. Uh, that, you know, maybe if I'm having a bad set, or I'm just like, why do you got to talk... Um, one time I get angry. So you're trying to school them while yeah. doing stand up. While doing stand up, but, but if you get like super angry with them and you don't come off as playful, yeah. it can backfire because then you're just being angry and you might say something just hurtful as opposed to something yeah. that's funny and you know just kind of busting their balls a little bit. What's the big dream of yours? What's the What's the one thing? I know you want to be a stand up, but what's the like? What's the one thing? A I sold want... out Madison Square Garden show? What? Not really, Madison. I mean. I want, to, I want to be able to perform, go any place, and people are like, yeah, put this guy up. Who do you compare yourself to? Or do you compare yourself to anyone? Um, not really. I mean, one person that like made me feel very comfortable being myself was Zach Galifianakis. Because Name he, drop. He's, go ahead. But he's, uh, you know, he's, he, he, people know who he is, right? I have no idea. Yeah. Go ahead. But he's a good guy, you know. He's a funny guy, and like he, when I watched, oh, him, you I was know like, him? Not really. Okay. But I, when I watched him, I was like, remember thinking, like, oh, this guy's just being himself and being weird and whatever. And this is how my personality is. I love to be a smartass, or whatever I can, and being and going on stage. Like I'll go on stage now, and I start doing this thing where the first thing I say is, uh, "This has been a lot of fun." I love, at the beginning. At the very beginning. You get, I'm, I'm you like, get it. He does it at the beginning. At the beginning. Yeah. It's like the old. Uh, it's like the old going on stage and going. Uh, how much time do I have left? You know, and then going no for life, and then. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I get it. Yeah, so it's just kind of breaking the ice. I want to. I want to establish that I'm sarcastic up front. What's the one thing we need to know about you? I don't quit until the job is done. Is that true? Or are you no, just I saying? I just watched that on like a. I, I, it was like a heavy rescue show that somebody kept saying that. What did you watch on TV last night? I watched Breaking Bad. Are uh, you have you watched it before and you're watching it again? I've watched it twice. This is my third is it? time. It's been about two years since I watched it. So now I'm really watching the characters, studying them because that's something else I'd like to you know do is be on Breaking Bread. Breaking Bread. Breaking Bread. It's a Brad Breaking Gary show. Brad Gary. It's on at two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. Last question because I had one more one more question for you. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to figure it all out. I just want to thank you for being oh, my very course. first guest on the Portable Clint Show. I don't know what we're going to do with this, but I wanted you to be my first guest. Oh, I appreciate you having me. This is, uh, I feel like this is an honor. I always love talking to you. Oh, that's David. Excuse me. 